Today, I want to take a look at how the UA Ox Stomp can help you take your modeling rig to the next level. Today, we are going to be using my HX Stomp. I'm obviously not in my studio. I'm currently in a hotel. And I have this really cool compact setup here on the desk that you can see here. Um, I have my real HX Stomp, not the XL, so the small HX Stomp. And I have the UA Ox Stomp here. And I wanted to take a look at how you can combine these and make a really killer compact rig. The cool thing about this is that it's dynamic speaker emulation. It's not static like an impulse response where, you know, maybe the cabinets are just kind of set EQs at different positions and it's just little snapshots of those real actual um, settings. So each impulse response, I don't know if that's how they do it with the Helix stuff, but it seems like with these mics, each is an impulse response of that specific spot. Whereas this dynamic speaker emulation is marketing itself as not being impulse responses whatsoever and being its own dynamic speaker emulation thing. So you're going to have those characteristics of speakers that you're not going to get with static IRs or the cabinet sections of your modelers. I also want to thank my friends at Sweetwater for sending this out for a demo. And I really wanted to share it with my Helix family and my modeling community about um, what this can do for your modeler. So this is my actual gigging preset that I just adopted, adopted, I just adapted into the normal HX stomp. So this is available on my website. I'll put links to it below if you want to check it out. This is how I would typically take my HX stomp to a gig and plug this in and go direct. Um, I'm a big user of stock cabs, so this is actually stock cabinets set up in here. Um, as you see in HX Edit, I'm using the new cabinet engine, but for today, to incorporate the aux stomp, I'm going to be able to free up two more foot switches. So this is going to be a super valuable thing that the aux stomp has these two foot switches on it. And I don't see many people using it like this. They're kind of using it as a... Though there's different ways, I guess you could talk about, where if I look at the settings here on the stomp, if I go to my settings, I can set the foot switch to do a bunch of different things. Go between cabs A and B, B, C and D, A and B, delay, reverb, effects, yada, yada, yada. So I just have this set to be delay and reverb right now. So that is going to enable me to free up blocks on my stomp. So now I don't need a reverb block. I don't need a cabinet block. And I do have a slapback delay on here that I now also don't need because I can put that on in post. And now that just freed up one, two, three blocks for me here. And the only thing I need to do is now add my loop. So I'm basically trading three blocks for one by using stomp. So here I want to set my effects loop to stereo, my effects loop left and right. And now I have the aux stomp live in the loop. Now let's just check my out. And I'm just going to adjust the uh, the return level here to get it at or around similar. I just checked in my DAW. So now what we're hearing here is a factory preset. So right now, let's go to, this is our preset, this vintage Bulldog Country, which is an AC3212 cabinet, 57-121. And um, they're already blended here, which is really cool. Um, really makes things easy. So something that you can't do in the HX, which is gonna, this is where it really starts separating. Obviously you can do cabinets and reverb in the HX and it'll sound great. But um, what we have here is a room mic. So for our room mic section, you have a whole room EQ and microphone set up here. Tweak this to taste or just turn them off, which is nice. So this is without any room EQ. And then that's mic two, this is my room mic, and this is with no room mic. So you're able to, so you're able to customize this pretty cool, uh, put up, get some of that room mic back in. It sounds really good to me, and I just haven't even touched this as a factory preset. I'm sure as I go, I'll get better at tweaking this stuff. And now you also have an EQ for the room. 
So not only can you put a room mic, you can also EQ the room. I'm not going anything for in particular there. I'm just kind of clicking around. Um, as you can see, I guess the touchscreen's a little finicky here still. It seems like if I double press it, yeah, there we go. Double pressing will go back to zero, but it kept jumping me back to minus 10. Then you have a master EQ, which is going to basically overall shape your tone and do whatever massaging you want to it. Um, all stuff that's optional to use, you don't actually need any. It just looks like they're, what, touching up the highs a little bit on here. Let's see if it makes a difference. <laughs> Maybe a touch, but um, very subtle. This is cool. This is an actual 1176 compressor emulation, which you also have in the Helix and HX products. But what you can do here is have this as a mastering effect for your guitar sound. So this is a really cool always-on setting that it came stock with. And this just gives you a nice fat compression at the end of the signal. So you hear that's a pretty big difference. It's actually clamping down a lot of the dynamics. And I actually... It seems like it needs it. Gets a little harsh and barky and then just hitting the compressor on. Just smooth things out a little bit. And now, fun stuff, you have a couple of delay options that you can do a couple of different things with. You can just have an always on slap back. Um, there's chorusing and flange effects that you can experiment with. So you can just set it to some type of slapback, and you can now, since I assigned that to the foot switch, I can bypass this by pressing the button. Another nice touch. Um, reverb, obviously, we also have in the stomp, but there's a pretty good studio quality reverb that I think is uh, pretty easily dialed in. Um, they also have this speaker drive where you can actually crank up this driving of the speaker. Seems the speaker drive gives a little bit of a uh, honkiness to it, a little bit of a darker sound, so I'll probably keep it somewhere a little bit above noon. And you also have a room knob, which you can change the uh, size of the room. Sounds a little bit more damp there. So now this opens you up to do a couple other things with your stomp, if that's what you want. Um, now I have an extra two blocks to work with, plus I have the uh, delay and the reverb on foot switches so that I can freely kick those on and off whenever I want, and it's not taking up much space. This whole setup is still, I mean, you could see it on the camera, right? Yeah. This whole setup is very, very tiny, and this can be a whole rig. Um, I've even got my Pedalnetics uh, little topper here for foot switch four and five. 
So I've got five foot switch on here and then two on here, really lethal and uh, super compact setup. That's gonna sound great. So now while we're on here, let's say I didn't save any of this and let's go back to my stock preset. We've been listening to it with the aux stomp cabinet. Let's reload the original and see. So maybe a little bit more sterile now that I'm going back and forth to it. So my final conclusion on this, um, I think it sounds great. It's actually really cool to play with the real studio setup and all that thing, all the things in there. Um, really fun to use the app when it works. I do think the app definitely needs work um, for now, but that's something that'll probably be remedied with some updates. And overall, I think it sounds really great to warrant a $400 price it is up to you. Um, I think it's a cool addition to a, a stomp rig like this, but um, do I think it makes a world of difference where I would take this live as opposed to using the stock cabs? Kind of not sure on that yet, but as I spend more time with it, I'll be able to let you guys know. Um, speaking of which, ask any comments you have in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.